Hey everybody, this is Aaron from AaronsAudioCorner.com and I'm here today to share some unboxing of one of the things I'm super excited about and that is the Clipple Hardware and Software. This is the name in loudspeaker engineering. So let's get to it. I got two packages and this is the first of the two. I believe this has the distortion analyzer, which is the hardware, the main hardware that everything plugs into, such as the amplifier, the microphone, and uh, takes care of all the measurement itself. So it's the, we'll just call it a motherboard of measurements. Let's see what we got here. Yes, this is, like I said, the Distortion Analyzer 2. Got this packaging out here, and you can see. So this is the front display if you were to use this in standalone, but since I'll be using this connected to a PC all the time, I won't really be using the front display all that much. The USB for the plug into the computer, and then here are the ports on the back. The power ports will just plug in the wall. This will be for the laser. And then these are for the microphones. And then these two are for the speaker. And then this is for the amplifier. So what, this, what you do is you will make a loop out. So you'll run signal out of this into an external amplifier and then back in. And then what that does, is it'll take the signal from the amplifier and it'll condition it. And by conditioning, I mean if you tell it to spit out 2.83 volts, it will regulate the output from the amplifier and it will spit out 2.83 volts through the speaker outputs and test at that. Or you can, you know, like I said, you can condition it at whatever voltage you want. There are a lot of different things that that does, but that's kind of it in a nutshell. And then there's another box within this box. I don't want to cut too deep. I don't know what's in here. I don't want to cut the surface. Okay, so here's the literature, it appears. Uh, the calibration report, as well as probably a user manual, which I don't think you guys are going to care about that, so I'll keep moving. Uh, this is the cool stuff. So these are for the, or these are the connections for the distortion analyzer. And uh, it comes with speaker connectors. I'll open a few of these up. I won't spend a whole lot of time here. But yeah, so this is for a speaker. Uh, now this is new to me, so I'll have to check out what kind of connection this actually is. The last time I used Clipple product, uh, it just came with some alligator clips. So let me see if I can find those kind that I'm used to seeing. Uh, this is a, uh, this is going to the amplifier and then has, or comes out, I guess, of the amplifier. Like I said, it's been a while. It's probably been about four years since I've owned the Clipple. So some of this is foggy, but it won't take me any time to, uh, to get back up to speed in that regard. Some extra Nutrik connectors. The portion, one portion of the power port. Uh, XLR cable. Set these over here. And then this is a, another speak on Nutrik pipe connector. I'm going to try to hurry up through this. A BNC connector, which would be for the microphone. Ah, these are what I'm used to seeing. These little guys, these uh, little clips on the ends. They'll have a little bite to them, like alligator clips. They're pretty awesome. I like them. Connector for the microphone, I'm assuming. And a USB cord. Mounting bracket for shelf mounting, I would assume, is what this is. So I'll set this over here to the side as well. Uh, some paperwork. This is the power supply to turn the distortion analyzer on. I'm not sure what this is. But I like the colors. Go Kentucky. Panasonic, so this is probably the laser. Oh yeah, 
Allen 10. Let's see here. It looks like parts for the laser at least. Yeah, I didn't have the laser last time I used Clipple, so this is new to me. This will be something I'll have to study up on and practice with using before I start publishing data. I'm excited. Uh, da -da -da. Put this over here too. And another box within a box. I'll try to keep all this stuff together so I can store it nice and neatly. Nice and neatly, that sounds like a name for a business. Like if you're a packaging company, you can call it nice and neatly. Especially if your name is nice or neatly. Okay, this is the actual laser. And I know that because it says caution. And then it has some stuff about laser radiation. Laser destroy. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, put this box over here. And then this is the microphone that was sent to me by Clipple. Model MI17, which I believe this one has currently now been discontinued and has been replaced with some updated ones. But for what I'm doing, this is certainly perfect. Look how itty bitty this thing is compared to, give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the microphone that was sent to me. And then this is what most people regularly use is an XLR ECM 8000 made by Behringer over here. And you can see how small the electet is. And the electet is the portion on the end that actually does the controlling. Ideally, the smaller this is, the better. Because like speakers, like a, like a transducer, it will um, have a polar pattern of its own and have breakup of its own. And the smaller you have of the electet, the further off axis, the polar response will be flat. And that's a good thing. So let's see what else we got here. 8675309. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Now this looks like it's a probably a test speaker. Yes, that's what it is. Yes, that is indeed what it is. So this is just a test speaker and they will send me this for the purpose of me, in other words, calibrating my system. And the white dot is where the laser would point to. And you can see on the back, they've got a SKU for it with a, or a QR code, I guess, with an example speaker number. And so they will have sent me the data that attribute or that accompanies this speaker. And then I will test it with my system here to make sure that I've got everything up to snuff and that everything is working correctly. And I believe that is it from this box. This is the second package that was sent to me which contains the pro driver stand. Oh we here we go. Wow. So yes, this is the pro driver stand. Let's start taking this thing out. All aluminum. Goodness, this thing is quite large, but I'm excited. This thing is, is pretty darn sweet. I'll work on getting it put together and then I will update this video shortly. So see you soon. Well, I finally got it completed. This is the Pro Driver stand from Clipple. And what this allows you to do is to measure thill small parameters as well as large signal parameters. And by that, I mean uh, X Max, anything that is related to the excursion of the driver, how it performs. So what you do is you take a driver, and in this case, this is the test sample driver that was provided to me, and you would put it in this wedge and then clamp it down like so. This fits up to uh, it, probably at least 15 inch drivers. I don't know what the maximum size is. It's probably gonna be more determined by the magnet size of the driver itself. The cool thing is, is if I wanted to put a larger driver in, like for instance, this 15 inch JBL that I have, I keep as a spare for my home theater. You can take this whole arm assembly off and move it out of the way, 
and then put the driver in, put this arm assembly back in. Now this arm assembly holds the laser, which still has the cover for it right now because I haven't even started testing with this. And then also holds a microphone. And for a demonstration, I removed the four inch, or yeah, I guess it's about a four inch driver that was sent to me for calibration purposes and put in the 15 inch woofer. That's gonna do it for the unboxing. I'm glad you guys got to hang out and witness the fun that I had with me. Until my next video, if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to this page, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and go ahead and hit the notification button. I'm sure when you subscribe in the button below that you should get some kind of notice for that. And let's see here. The Facebook page that I've got going, that will give you updates in between my videos. And for example, I updated my page today with a photo of the behind the scenes of me putting this thing together and, and doing this little unboxing video. And until then, I think that's going to be it. Rosie, come here. You want to say bye to everybody? This is Rosie. We say bye. You guys be safe out there, okay? Peace. <laughs> Oh!